We are back with our second leg against Chelsea, the European champions. As we know from the previous episode, we are 1-1 with them from Stamford Bridge. So what we're going to do is drag them all the way back to the Camp Nou and see what we can do. Welcome back to episode 8 of our Barcelona Rebuild. We've only played one game since our last episode, so I'll give you a little look at that. I wouldn't normally come in and show you it specifically in so much detail, but I have to show you Benedetto's goal he scored against us, because I'm livid, got to be honest. This is an interesting screen, not sure why it's done that. So Araujo had a uh, free kick, completely misjudges the pass, Benedetto picks it up, turns on it, and absolutely whacks it into the far corner. Brilliant from him. Pretty annoyed at the centre-back, though. We have, as we said, that second leg now against Barcelona. But before we jump into it, if you could do me the favour of liking and subscribing, showing your support on the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. And as we mentioned in the previous episode, we are looking to do kind of a building Newcastle. Only in regards to looking at the transfers. We're not going to be looking into the um, transfer, uh, the, <laughs> the matches or anything of that nature. Um, but what we are going to be doing is kind of just locking in our formation that we're doing. So if you're looking forward to that, as we said, like and subscribe, show your support, that'd be great. They even give the bell a little tickle as well and it will uh, pop into your inbox as soon as it's uploaded. I'm not going to give you an exact date because I don't know exactly when it is. We're going with Terstegen in goal, Mingueza, Arajo, Peak, and Alba as the back four. Sergio playing the, behind De Jong and Roberto. Fatty and Memphis outside with Aguero as the striker. We have ourselves lining up, as we know, with our full 3-3. Four wins on the bounce at the moment, and a fifth draw to uh, round up the form. Chelsea, slightly sporadic form, and a odd formation, should we say, a 5-2-3, should we call that? Quite narrow in attack. We've got ourselves currently as positive. I'll see how that goes for the first 15-20 minutes. Alba's got a free kick, though, out on the right-hand side, which uh, Kante is breaking from. Is that Memphis that's chasing him down, number nine? It is. He's uh, he's done a good job to slow him down there. Rudiger's on the ball for Chelsea. Back to Kante. Brilliant ball through to Lukaku, who's completely open. And he's, he's already cancelled out our away goal. That's not ideal. It's took them eight minutes to uh, to manage to do this. I don't know why Arajo P um, pushes up then. PK's just stood still. Horrific defending from our guys. Ah, uh, should we have a little look? Is there anything in here that we need to change? I'm going to stop the goalie pushes, but it's just not good. <laughs> it just isn't. It's just coming up to 30 minutes. Chelsea are on the ball at the moment. James almost got past his player and then cut back and passed it to Kante. Rudiger, Mount, good ball through to Lukaku, the goal scorer. He's gone out and found the left wing back open. Chilwell puts the ball back in and Lukaku <laughs> completed the 1-2, but unfortunately hit the bar. For them, it's fortunate for us, to be fair. Mendy, with the goal kick, puts it towards Silva. Kante, out to James on the right. He cuts back, gets it to Mount. Back into Kante in the middle. Rudiger. They're, um, they're, they're very comfortable on the ball. A little bit too comfortable, to be quite honest. Silva, Saul, Havertz. There's oh, and that ball. And it's, it's gone in as well. It's maybe offside. Hopefully so. <laughs> Please. Please be offside. It's, it's going to be given, isn't it? It just is. It, it's been given. It's 2-0. We're, uh, we're just being bullied. I'm going to have to drop us to balance because obviously being on positive is doing nothing for us. The defenders are just asleep. I don't know why Testagans tried to slide tackle the ball. It's just not good. It's uh, it's almost half time. We're not having the great game here. Starting off with their goalkeeper again. We know what happened last time they started. I was I was quietly confident after the start of the first leg. And uh, it's kind of all gone now. All Lukaku's doing is just running forward slightly and both of my defenders don't understand how to deal with it. It's very annoying. James is out on the right. He's got acres of space because no one's pressing him. Hey, someone stopped the ball getting to Lukaku. That's a win in my book. Kurt, oh no, never mind. I was going to I was gonna say that Aguero was on the ball but he immediately lost it. Havertz, Rudiger... James to Mount 
He's uh, shuffling out onto that wing. He's going to find it to Lukaku. Oh, to Havertz. And just over. It is now half time. We've got a mountain to climb. We've got at least two goals to get us to extra time. <laughs> and then probably a third to actually win it. I don't know if the whole away goals after extra time is still a thing. Uh, but the first 15 minutes of this half isn't filling me with confidence that that's even going to be a concern for us. Um, we're going to bring Demir on. We're going to shuffle these front three around. We are also going to bring Busquets off, drop De Jong back and bring Gavi on. Because why not? He can't be worse than the other midfielders we've been playing. Because everyone has been absolute tripe. I'm going to attack him. I've lost it. 69 minutes. Um, I'm going to bright him as well. They'll love it when I show him. There you go. Look at it. They're over the moon. It's shuffling towards the 80th minute. Is this it? Is this our chance? Is this us getting a goal back? Chilwell's put the ball through. Does Stegen stop Lukaku scoring? Which is great. Plays it short to Arajo. Out to Mingueth. Oh, our striker's made the run. Memphis, touch. Oh, he's put it over the goal. This is it. There's five minutes left on the clock. Let's go and get another goal, lads. Beautiful, fantastic short ball there. Mingueza actually is a brilliant ball, this one. Takes it down, bops it over the goalie. Five minutes. Come on, do something. Just be good. We're into extra time. And the game's, the game's finished. Never mind. Let's go and take our frustrations out on Raul Betis. Regardless of what happens in this game, we're still in the tournament. So that's a bonus. We're currently seven points ahead of Villarreal. Uh, Betis are sat in 12th, and if they win their game, they may squeeze themselves up to 11th. We've got Tostegan in goal, Mingueza, Araujo, Pique, and Dest as the back four, Sergio behind Roberto and De Jong, and then Fatty and Memphis outside of Aguero up top. We have ourselves lining up with... Ignore, ignore that red square, just ignore it, it's not there. Just, 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 just ignore it. Betis, oh, this is what we want to see from a form of a team we're playing against. They're a 4-2-3-1, and they haven't won a game in five. It's 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 looking all right for us, but that's my concern. It is looking all right for us, which means we'll probably lose. Uh, also, side note, it's currently my birthday in game, so hopefully my players can respond to that and not perform like a bunch of headless monkeys again. As a clearance from Betis... It's been picked up by Arajo. Is he going to feed it back to his goalkeeper? No, he's going to turn on it. A little quick 180 and then just stand stand still for a bit. Sergio, the young fatty. He has his fullback running past him and then just kind of gets bored. He's got a little bit of a nosebleed and didn't want to go any further. It's back to the centre-back. Back to Mingueza. Arajo. I still haven't Googled how to spell his name. I really should do. Pronounce. I know how to spell it. It's on the screen. Memphis. Got the ball out on the left. Puts it all the way across to Fatty, and it's headed into the side net in. It is almost half time now. We haven't had any further highlights, except except for this one. Rui Silva just smashes it forward for them from the goal kick. Mingueza brings it down, uses his winger. Fatty plays it inside then to Mingueza, forward to Aguero, out to Sergio, who then puts it up to Memphis on the left wing. Plays it back to his left back, inside to Roberto, once more to De Jong. Out on the right, Mingueza cuts into the box. Back out, back in. Memphis's header. Yeah, I don't know if it was wide or over, to be honest, but I know it didn't end up in the net. It is now half time. We are definitely in control in this game, but what's happened? We haven't bloody scored, so I'm going to shout at him and send him back out. We've just passed the hour mark. We'll have a little look, see what we can do substitution wise. Memphis looks like he's about to pass out, but he's also our only player that's actually performing, which is a bit annoying. Uh, we'll bring Dembele on for him and Demir on for Fatty, who's also very tired. Just ticking into the last 10 minutes of the game now. We still haven't scored. I'm moving us to attack in, and I'm going to encourage once more. Um, I fear that we're not going to pick up the three points from this game. I fear that we may pick up no points from this game. Canales puts in the corner to Stegen Clathers. Beautiful. Right. Now release any of your players. Okay, pass it to your centre-back. Just stands there. No urgency. We're on attacking. Just stood there. Mingueza puts it up to Demir. Into De Jong. Demir makes his run down the right wing. Is De Jong playing him? He is, eventually. He's in the area, and he's struck the post. 
Bellerin just casually turned around, passed it back to his goalkeeper. Uh, it's got to be full time now, hasn't it? That is incredibly frustrating. I might have a little tweak of our formation between this and the next episode. Not the player positioning, maybe, but how they're doing stuff. The instructions is the word I was going for. Whilst that was a quick episode, it was an utter shambles. We're going to ignore that that ever happened, and we're going to be back for the Copa del Rey final against Real Madrid. If you have enjoyed today's video, you do me the favour of liking, subscribing, showing your support, that would be greatly appreciated. And thank you very much for your time.